the Unity All-in-One players are complete music centers. They can be used to stream music via Tidal, Spotify, UPnP, AirPlay, Bluetooth, and Chromecast built-in, alongside hundreds of iRadio stations. You'll be listening to more music than ever before. In your Unity box, you will find the player itself, a document pack containing your quick start guide, statutory safety manual, registration document, cleaning cloth and warranty information, as well as a remote control, four AAA batteries, a set of two speaker connector plugs, and a mains cable, which will be a power line light if you're in the UK. The Unity Player's front connections comprise a Type-A USB socket, 3.5mm headphone socket, four buttons, power standby, play pause, favorites, and input selection, and the front LCD display screen, a top surface mounted volume dial. Unity Star also contains a front loading CD slot. Each Unity player features the following rear connections, an IEC mains power cord connector, Ethernet network connection, type A USB, left and right loudspeaker connections, HDMI, ARC, it's optional on Unity Atom, a ground switch, digital inputs, analog inputs, and the preamplifier output. You will also find a memory card input on Unity Star and Unity Nova. The remote control buttons comprise power and standby, favorites, multi-room, input selection, clock, options, brightness, navigation, and selection, as well as standard playback control keys. To start your setup, you will need a Wi-Fi internet connection and router, loudspeakers with speaker cables fitted with the supplied speaker connector plugs, and a smartphone or tablet. Alternatively, a network cable can be used for a wired connection to your router. Connect the speaker cables to the back of your Unity player, carefully ensuring that you get the plus and minus and the left and right channels the correct way around. Make sure your router is powered on and within range. Name always recommends a wired connection, especially when streaming high resolution music. Load the batteries into the back of the remote control, connect the power cable to Unity's power socket and then to the main wall socket. Switch on your Unity player by pressing the power button to the right of the unit's display. Once your unit is powered on, you will need to pair it with the remote control. To do this, hold the remote close to the display screen, then press and hold the remote's home button for three seconds. The system volume dial and remote volume dial will light up simultaneously upon successful pairing. The remote is now paired to the unit and ready to use. Download the Name app from the App Store for iOS or the Play Store for Android. Launch the app and follow the setup instructions to configure your Unity player. Access all your music, including streaming services and internet radio stations, play your stored music from a named server, and use Unity as the source for your multi-room system. Unity also includes digital, analog, and HDMI ARC connections. These allow you to connect your external sources, such as a CD player, a phono stage, or a television screen. Ripping a CD with Unity Star is effortless. Feed a disc into the front loading slot and it will automatically begin the rip. You can save your rips to local storage, either via USB drive or a memory card. The Name app will show a ripping monitor screen that indicates ripping progress of both the individual track and the overall contents of the disc. Ripping a CD takes around five minutes. Once the rip is finished, the album will display in your music store and the disc will be automatically ejected. Repeat the process with the next disc. For further information and support, there's a dedicated Unity support portal on our website at www.nameaudio.com.